Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm David Young and in this video we're going to be doing another recovery with the Tundra. This time we're at the map Bungalow Acres, I believe it's called. And we've got a call for a Dodge truck that is stuck in the mud quite far out. So we are going to be taking the Tundra and the trailer with us because it's broken. I believe the customer said the winch cable snapped and they're trying to winch it and it's just broken beyond repair. It's a disaster for the customer. So we're going to pull it out and take it back. Okay. Put it at full low and all that stuff. Or full and lock it. Put it in low soon. Now these are some gnarly trails around here so we're going to have to be careful with the trailer. Especially with the trailer on there. Because it's going to be challenging. Now we have put the drop hitch up to just a zero because otherwise the trailer will probably just get stuck on everything as it was at minus 20 before I mean that worked it balanced it with the truck but or I mean it balanced the trailer but would it work for places like this probably not I'm gonna say Yeah, as it is now, it's hardly even struggling. Send it. And we have to full send it at least once every video. Okay, you can hold me to that. Every single video, I'm going to do a full send at least once. Every off way out of this video. Oh, this is gnarly. Can I get that trailer up through here? I have a hope of doing it. I'm going to try, because... Oh yeah. Oh, except for smacking the truck into a rock. Oh, and over these logs. Oh, now I cannot see. Uh, okay. I guess we're just going to have to go close to the vehicle for now. See, as I was saying, it's, it just all went wrong for the customer. As I said, Dodge Ram, Silver, I think. And was fine over these crawling bits. It's not a heavily modified truck, apparently. I've actually seen some photos of it. I got sent some photos by the customer. But it's just gave up. Yeah. No, but for it to make it through these crawling trails is pretty good. I think, but the mud just defeated it almost straight away. So here we are at the mud. I believe we might. Okay, what we're going to do is park the trailer up there and pull it out with the truck. Then when we get it to here, I'll grab the trailer and line it up into position. Okay, I'll just leave it there. point ten, and let's go grab it now it's not very far into the mud but this is some serious mud so I'm just hoping the tundra isn't going to struggle oh. oh and it's not like this ah uh, there's the vehicle oh but it's not gone quickly by this tundra what I'm going to do is jump out and have a look at the situation it's in It's buried up to the up to the body. It's not drowned or anything, so to say, but it's pretty serious. I'm gonna get a photo of that. And a photo of the tundra with it. And so what I think we'll do is turn the tundra around if we can do that. And just pull it out. Because it doesn't look too badly stuck. I mean, it's stuck, but. Yeah. As I said, they tried to winch it out, but the winch cable snapped. And they had no spare winch cable or anything like that. So that's why we're here. 
Okay, now I'm gonna line it up well with the track. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, I'm gonna attach the winch. See what we can do. It's coming. A handbrake on or something. I don't know, it's coming, so I think we'll just keep doing what we're doing. I might be stuck on something. I know, there we go, it's coming. Come on, almost there. Do you know this pallet? Might be interesting though, with this bit of fence or whatever this is. Might back up a little bit and just go right around the edge of it. The park ranges, or whoever run this place, should really think about moving this out of the way. And then again, it's an obstacle in the track, so. Maybe they should have. Getting the lamb over it might be interesting though. I don't know. There we go. Oh, and it, is it stuck on the fence? No. Okay, I'm going to get it out of the mud. Looks a bit more. And, and, uh, did it hit our vehicle? Um, I don't know. Hope not. Anyway. Might just hitch the winch. And I might just push it backwards a little bit. Very gently so we don't damage it. But, I need to get the trailer here. Whoa, okay. That never happened. There we go, it's gone. Okay, that'll do it. So now I'll pull the trailer around and back it up to the customer's vehicle. Whoops. And that'll be that. Oh, we do not want neutral, we want reverse. Uh, what am I doing? Question mark. Uh, getting the trailer stuck on the fence is the answer. That I was hoping wouldn't be the answer. This is annoying. I want a bird flies over here. Damn, I don't have my gun with me. Oh, how did it get stuck in the fence? I'll throw it out those things. That's what I'm going to say to that. Catch trap. Oh my goodness. Oh. Try and line it up so it. There we go, it's out. Now we've got to think about backing it over rocks and rough terrain. That's not going to work. I want the front of the vehicle around a bit. And will that do? I'll straighten it a little bit more. There's one that was hanging off the edge. Or it would have been if we'd winched it like that. And I'm turning the wrong way. Okay, back it up, back it up. What am I thinking? If I just use that track that I thought it was. Yeah, this that set up like that. Okay, that'll do. 
Now what I might do is winch it. Okay, I'm going to attach the winch and see if we can get it up onto the trailer. Uh, no, I need to go and turn the wheel. Alright, wheels are turned. Let's see what we can do. Oh, it's not in line. Alright, what I'm going to do, it's not exactly the most professional thing to do, but I'm actually going to push the vehicle a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't get stuck in the mud again. No, I don't think it's going to get stuck. And re-adjust the trailer a little bit. Oh, we went back when it was my first. That is interesting. I said no, I do not want to go up first, and I said, good, I need to put reverse on anyway. Alright, see if we can get the vehicle winched up onto the trailer. And we got the winch attached. Push it a bit more forward. And now... Whoa, 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 I should have backed off the winch a bit quicker. Let's release the winch a little bit. And turn the wheels the other way. Oh, and we've got the winch lined up. Or oh, got it lined up. We just need to winch it on. Alright, that should be good enough. Okay, it is on the trailer, and it decided to spin around. Okay. We have to get a photo of that. Okay. Let's see if we can get this out. Without high centering the trailer, getting it stuck. We can get through that. We're going to pretend the tundra didn't just strike the side of that building. This is one of my concerns, or well, it's probably the biggest concern for me right now. Or well, getting it back is this part, all the bit coming up. Once we get through that tunnel, so and after a lot of struggling, we're almost back at the top. Getting over that. Tricky bit, took a lot. A little bridge bit. But we did it. So worked out alright. Now that we're back, we can take the vehicle back to the customer's house. This is what the customer's ordered. And I need to fix that drop hitch before anything else, before my trailer and the drop hitch and the truck all decide to break at once. I will put it down to minus 20, which is where it's balanced, level-ish. Well, it's on a slope right now, so it's not perfect, but whatever that is, what it is. So, well, we got the... We got the customer's vehicle out. We got we actually got the vehicle out of the mud with hardly any trouble. It was just getting it back on the trailer, which caused... Um, more than a lot of trouble. A lot. Almost didn't make it back out with the trailer and truck. I don't know what I would have done, but I don't know. I called a professional in, so it's alright. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.